？没有没有，以后有机会我要去贵。对，电不足。嗨，好嘞，你好你好，没不能直接现金吗？可以吗？那我直接。嗨 ，Hello， 我是拍视频，我是博主。Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mike Ronaldo. This is Black in China. If this is your first time watching my videos, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment below as you watch this video. If you have any questions, if you are a returning subscriber, I want to welcome you to another interesting video. In today's video, I am inside.、Um, Yunnan Province. It is my very first time traveling here, and this is Sichuan Banna. You can see I am putting on、uh, kind of traditional African clothes because they have it all here. Like everywhere, there is a lot of traditional clothes. And at a certain point, when I took a picture of me over here with these、uh, traditional clothes, a lot of people were asking me, "Mike, have you traveled back to Cameroon?" Like. And I was like, "No, I'm still here in China." But so enjoy this video, guys. Make sure to like, and let's get into the video. Black in China. Walking out the gate. Let's go explore the city of Sichuan Banna. <laughs> I hear a lot about this city, and I have a lot of expectations. To everything that I see on the streets, the people, the beautiful girls, I have to say, man, I heard there is so many beautiful girls in this in this city. So I want to get on this scooter and ride around the city. I see they use these a lot, electric scooters. All the streets everywhere, electric scooters. Let's step on that, and it's even got a helmet, just in case you get into an accident. <laughs> how to get, how to get that? So let's go explore the most crowded location in this city. I hear there is a lot, like、um, night markets. There is everything. There is food. There is a lot、uh, to purchase, and a lot of fun, guys. So let's go see it. Niha. 你好。And I had to step down from this because there is no charge. Oh damn! I have to find another one. This is. Ah. 刚刚那个没电。对，电不足。Hi. Hello. 你好，你好。你好。你们是本地人吗？不是。啊？哦，你们是穿成都，成都过来。哦，我也成都过来。哦，有，对对对对对,对。我也是从成都。没有，香港。你们是过来这边旅游是吧？啊。哦哦哦哦。这边怎么样？这边怎么样？今天才。哦，今天才过来。哦，我们是昨天过来的。嗯。听说这边还比较好。还好还好，还可以还可以。<laughs> Going down, man. I'm lucky that I had to get this. If not, I should be walking for like twenty minutes. Ah, I do a foreign platform, including foreign. Yeah, foreign also have. Oh, yeah, just to share, share life. Yeah, basically. Good, good. That's fine. You, that you want to stay here for how long? 呃，四天吧。哦，三四天。四天。哦，可以，可以，可以。你们老家是哪里的？我们是非洲，非洲的。非洲。对，属于非洲。哎、好远哦。啊、嗯，很远，很远。嗯。<笑>离这边很远。在中国待了很久了吧？嗯，对，待了几年。就是待在成都。对。普通话讲这么好啊？对呀、啊。嗯，还好，还好。来点成都话。啊、uh, ，不回不回，哎呀，不回不回，八十的呗，八十的呗，八十的，是没听，还在看，嗯，四川很好，四川，那必须，我最喜我最喜欢四川，对
。我看我以前呃有认识一个，他是那个哎是法国几几类什么？哦，也是在四川吗？四川。哦哦。和你们一样，皮肤也是黑的。这边可以下了吧？好，那我就这边下。好等啊。嗯。好好。I'm just gonna get off from here, and then I can do the rest on foot. That's all with the right. 谢谢，谢谢啊，好，你们玩开心哈。好，拜拜。A lot of times I have this comment, and my viewers always ask me. Mike, which is the uh, the most recommended city uh, that you would recommend traveling to China? You know, this is a uh, this is a very uh, dif difficult <laughs> this is a very difficult uh, question because depending on if you are traveling to China for for work or if you are just visiting, you just want to have fun. So at the end of this video, I'm going to give more tips on that, like. If you are traveling to China, what cities would I mostly recommend? After living here for many years, and a lot much more. So keep watching the video. Yunnan. <laughs> This city, Sichuan Banna, it's uh, it's mostly a nightlife city. During the days, everywhere is just so closed, and but the city opens in the afternoon. That is when uh, you see lots of people outside. There is sales. There is everything. I think it's a bit somehow like Thailand. If you if you are fan of Thailand, I think living in China this is a this is a perfect choice, a perfect option. It's pretty hot here, so hot. This is supposed to be winter in China, but over here, man, just putting on a T-shirt, it's damn hot. The weather is always so hot here. Fruits from <laughs> man, there is lots of fruits here. You see everything. All kinds of fruits, like all the markets, are so full of different types of fruits. There is even bananas. There is plantain. Man, <laughs> when I got here. I was just so surprised. It just seems feels like being back home because the food that we usually eat back home, there is you get it, you get it all here. You get it all. Approaching the night market sections, usually at night, all the streets here are just closed because there is a huge population here at night. You can't imagine. The city is not huge, but there is just so lots of visitors traveling, traveling over here. I heard this city, Sichuan Banna, has the most beautiful girls in the country, and I was like, for real? So let's let's go find that. Hi. Pretty cute cars. Hi. <laughs> this is one section of the night market. You see that? Xinguang Ye Shi. So crowded. Man. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. I feel um, it's like whenever I hold the camera. Hi, niha, niha, niha. Hi. It's like each time I hold the camera, 
uh, for some reasons, people just want to like, uh, they just want to interact. Um, because I know in my videos, I've always had this question. My viewers ask me, Mike, but how come like when you walk in the streets, everyone is like talking to you or maybe just uh, greetings? Probably because I'm holding a camera, so. <laughs> Go get a camera, guys. Go get a camera. Go get a fucking camera. In that, Mike, how come each time when you are in the streets, like there is lots of people talking to you, like greeting you? Because I, I hold a camera, <laughs> like. Hello. <laughs> Oh. oh. You would realize that right here in this city, in this city of China, like most people, the dressing method, the dressing style is completely different from most of what you've uh, been seeing in my videos. I know, probably because of the weather, it's pretty hot, or it's just a, it's just a style here. Like every every girls here, they they just have some different dressing style, like. I would say modern, I would say uh, special, nice. There is that uh, so much pretty, so much beautiful texture in their dressing. I wish I can get a coffee. Coffee. <laughs> An ice cream. It's pretty hot. Why not get something cold, refreshing? Ice cream. Hey, you know, check out some of the end. Uh, it's a Okay, ma. Ah, now what's it for about the end? Okay, me, put on to the shen jima. Okay, ma. Now what's it? Hello, now what's it? I just like eating ice cream a lot. Ice cream, chocolate. A lot of times they ask me, but why is your body so black? Why are you so black? And I say, because I eat a lot of chocolate. Uh, 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 Hi. Hello, hello. This hotel is pretty expensive. I guess you could spend a few thousand RMB per night living in this hotel. It looks so much luxury and I guess people are traveling from different cities just to come on over here and experience summer inside winter period. You know, after living in China for many years, I would recommend Sichuan province, Chengdu, to be on my first top of the list as one of the most friendliest uh, province and city in China because the people there, they are, I think they care more about relationship, they care more about making friends. But in other cities like uh, Yunnan province, where I am right now, the people are going to be more cold, I think. So, I think 
as a foreigner living in, traveling, and living in Sichuan province, you can get the best experience. Like, you will worry about the locals, you know, your relationship with the locals. Are you going to be treated uh, nicely? Or the people are generally more friendly. So I would put Sichuan in my first top list as one of the most friendliest cities in China. But apart from that, this is only for those who are, if you just plan to travel, you know, like spend some time, have a good time um, around. And also, in terms of food, I would say that Sichuan comes first in the list because it's got the best, I would say, the best, most delicious food in the country. Oh, balloons. Who needs balloons? Now is just the perfect time to go into the night market. Today I'm going to be exploring more of Xingguang Ye Shi, that is Xingguang Night Market. So I'm going to take you guys there and you can see all, all what they have. You might be traveling to Yunnan sometime in the future and maybe it shouldn't be a bad idea visiting around here.你们呢你们是这边的吗不我们是河北来的我们一直都在河北河北对河北离这边很远吗远呀三江街三千公里哦有那么远那么远你们河北那边生活怎么样呢我没有去过没有四川好真的吗四川生活很好呀哦我们现